Hi everybody, Pastor Vince here. Thank you for joining me for another day of Life Lifters. This week we are talking about how to relate great. And we're looking at the book of Proverbs and I'm giving you five principles that will help you have great relationships because relationships are the most important thing in life. Certainly our relationship to God is essential, but our relationships to other people are a close second. And so I've given you two principles on Monday. You can go back and listen to them if, if you miss them. On Monday, we said to make a friend, you have to be a friend. Stop expecting people to be friendly to you unless you are first initially very friendly to them. To make a friend, you have to be a friend. Then yesterday, we talked about a second principle to relate great, and that's this. It takes time. You must pace your relationships. Some people go too slow, but when it comes to improper pacing, most people go way too fast. We live in an instant culture, and we temp tend to want instant relationships. Well, other than mashed potatoes, there's not very many things that are instant. And so that's the second thing. And today I want to talk to you about the third principle of great relationships, and that's this. Relationships require regular checkups. You know, I go to the dentist every six months, and I get my teeth cleaned, and um, I had the same dentist in Churchville for many, many years, and he retired, so I'm at a new dentist, and I get my teeth cleaned every six months, and I get exams, and, and every now and then I'll get a filling or a touch-up, usually a replacement of a filling I've had for a while or something like that. And you need regular checkups with your dentist to keep your teeth right, and I want my teeth to be right. I want to lose these jokers and wear dentures and poly grip and all these commercials. Nothing personal if you have that. I just don't, I just want to keep my own teeth uh, moving on. Anyway, but what I have found is that you have to evaluate the depths of your friendships as they pace. So to make a friend, you have to be a friend. That was Monday. And then you got to pace your relationships. But every now and then, you got to have a checkup. Every now and then, like a dentist, checking your teeth, you have to check your relationships. Because sometimes a relationship will start well, you're pacing it, but then all of a sudden, you're seeing some signs that your relationship isn't all that it needs to be. You need to constantly evaluate your friendships. Sometimes a person who was your friend yesterday really should no longer be your friend today. Sometimes somebody who maybe you had a slow start with is really somebody worth building into or having them build into you. You just have to regularly check up your friendships. You have to evaluate the depth. How many know that sometimes you think a relationship is at a certain level, but the other person thinks it's at another level, or vice versa? It happens all the time. You must be smart and evaluate your relationships. Every time you engage with somebody, there ought to be a little thing going on in the background is, how is this relationship? After this encounter, am I seeing something better, worse, the same? Have I had a right assessment? Am I is my checkup on this relationship accurate? Where do I get that from? Again, throughout this week of messages on how to relate great, we're looking at the book of Proverbs. So let me share some with you. Proverbs 25, 19, right on cue with my metaphor of the dentist, says this. The proverb writer says, Like a bad tooth or a lame foot is reliance on the unfaithful in times of trouble. Like a bad tooth is reliance on the unfaithful in times of trouble. Well, why would you rely on the unfaithful when you have a problem? Because you thought the relationship was here, but it wasn't here. Why? Because you didn't do a regular evaluation and checkup. You have to check on your relationships all the time. You have to assess and reassess and reassess and reassess every relationship every time. Oh, that's a lot of work. You know what? You can do it. You can do it. It's just a natural thing. I'm in the people business. I relate to people all the time. I have to do this all the time. And I have certain things I see in people that I go, wow, they're a better friend than I ever thought. And I have other things. I hear people say things and I go, hmm, interesting. And you start to question whether they really want to be your friend or the friend of the church. And uh, I see that all the time. Here's another one. Proverbs 17, 17. It says, a friend is always loyal and a brother is born to help in time of need. If the first one was negative, this one is positive. How do you evaluate your friendships? Well, when you have a need, they're there. Now, if you're constantly asking them for help 
and then they don't always say yes, that doesn't mean it's a bad relationship. It just means you, you, you're asking way too much. But what it means is that when you have a reasonable need that is reasonably appropriate for you to ask that particular relationship, the quality of that relationship will show if they're willing to help you. Doesn't mean they may help you directly, but they may help you by pointing out someone. And, and, and that's a really important truth. You have to evaluate where you stand in the depths of your friendships. I want you to think about some of the most important relationships in your life, and I want you to do some checkups on them. Maybe it's someone in your family. Maybe it's a friend for, of many, many years. Maybe it's a distant family member. Maybe it's your boss. Maybe it's your business partner. Maybe it's somebody in your neighborhood. I don't know. But you have to constantly evaluate and check up your relationships. I know this. If I don't get my teeth checked regularly, a small little cleaning, which could take care of a minor cavity, um, if I don't get that done, that cavity might turn to a filling, and then you get the needle, right? Open up, and then I stick this gigantic needle, freaking needle. No, it's probably not. It's probably that long, but I just don't like needles. I look away. I close my eyes. I, I tighten up. I'm a dentist. will say, relax, and I can. But anyway, so uh, I don't like that, so here's what I know. I'm going to keep getting a checkup. Yeah, it costs a lot of money, but you know what? I want these pearly whites or off-whites, whatever you want to say. I want them in my mouth the rest of my life. Same thing with relationships. You want great relationships, you want the right relationships, constantly check up on them. Constantly evaluate them. And sometimes you'll be surprised that it's a better relationship than you think. And then one last thing, sometimes you have to cut off that relationship. And that's your call. Constantly evaluate relationships. Let's pray. Father, all of us, have to evaluate every relationship that is significant in our lives. And we have to evaluate, does it have meaning? Does it have purpose? Is it what I thought it was yesterday, today? Father, help those listening to evaluate every relationship in their life and to make a sound judgment call on where it stands. Thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, get your regular relational checkup to avoid truth decay. Have a great day.